What's up guys, it's Dave Marshall with the RC Air Marshall YouTube channel and welcome to the Spectrum AR637T programming series. In this installment we're going to be discussing how to use forward programming to do the first time setup of your AR637T receiver. Before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification icon so you're always aware when new videos are coming from the channel. Now let's get started. At this point in our programming process for the AR637T, we've gone ahead and installed the AR637T in our aircraft. We have upgraded our transmitter to the latest version of Airware so it can take advantage of forward programming. And we have also bound the AR637T to our transmitter as well as set up all of the control surfaces on the aircraft. We're going to go ahead and do a quick test of the control surfaces to make sure everything is working as expected. So we're going to give it left aileron, right aileron, up elevator, down elevator, right rudder, left rudder. We're going to go ahead and operate our flaps to make sure that's working. And it is. And we're going to do a very quick throttle test. The throttle is working, so it looks like all of our channels are working correctly, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Now we can go ahead and begin with the AS3X setup process. At this point, we're going to go ahead and go to forward programming. The way you get there is by going to model adjust, forward programming. Now, as a precaution, and, and this is another important step here, you do have to have a throttle cut programmed into your transmitter in order to use forward programming. Uh, the warning screen right here, safety warning, you must activate throttle cut to proceed to forward programming. So we're going to go ahead and activate the throttle cut switch because right now I, I have it disengaged for the purposes of this. Uh, it's going to make you engage throttle cut, which will allow us to get to our forward programming settings. In order to get started, we're going to need to do the initial setup and we're going to get to that by going to gyro settings. From there, we go to first time setup. From here, it's going to ask you to make sure that the model has been configured, including wing type, servo reversing, servo travel, your trims, etc. As we have reiterated several times, we're going to go ahead and click next. Any wing type channel assignment or servo reversing changes require running through initial setup again. Uh, so, like I had mentioned in a previous video in the series, uh, we want to go ahead and make sure that all of our airplane setup processes are done before going into the forward programming process so we don't uh, end up having to go back and redo uh, certain steps. We're going to go ahead and click next here. Uh, now it wants us to set the model level. The model is sitting pretty level on the stand right now, so we're going to go ahead and click continue. And what this is doing is it's going through an automatic orientation process. So right now it knows the model's level. Now it wants us to hold the model nose down at 90 degrees and press continue. So we're going to go ahead and complete that. We'll set down the transmitter. And put the model 90 degrees nose down. And click continue. And now we can see on the IX-12 that it believes that the orientation is position one, which is the label up, pins back, and the, uh, the bind button facing towards the front of the aircraft. And if you remember during the installation video, that is exactly how we have the AR637T oriented inside the aircraft. So the automatic orientation process uh, was able to pick up the correct orientation of the AR637T. So we can go ahead and click continue. Now, in the event that for whatever reason it did not pick up the correct orientation, you can click the down button here and it will allow you to manually select any of the 24 uh, positions that the AR637T uh, supports. All right, so now that we're happy with the, uh, with the orientation of the receiver here in position one, we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And we're gonna click gain channel select. 
and that will allow us to select a channel which we're going to use to adjust our gain and select a switch that we want to do that with. Now on this particular model, I've got five channels. I've got my throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, and flaps. The flaps is going to be on aux one. So for my gain channel, I'm going to use aux two. So we're going to go ahead and click the channel select and cycle through gear, flap, aux two, and click OK. And for the switch, we'll go ahead and click that and then cycle our knob and it selected the right knob. Now, what that's going to allow us to do is anytime we want to adjust the gains in flight, we're going to use our right knob over the AUX2 channel to, uh, to facilitate that. And we're going to go ahead and click Next. And we've already run through the gain channel select, so we don't need to do that again. We can go ahead and hit Apply. It has that the receiver is rebooting. Select Model Adjust to, a retur uh, to return to menu. So at this point, the receiver has rebooted. So now when we go in here to gyro settings, we will see a different set of options. We'll see AS3X settings, flight mode setup, system setup, and first time safe setup. So at this point, we've completed the first time setup. Once you've completed the first time setup of the AR637T, the AS3X functionality of the receiver will now be active using default gain settings for your roll, pitch, and yaw axis. Be sure to tune in for our next installment where we'll be discussing how to verify the proper correction direction of the control surfaces uh, of your model when AS3X is active, and also how to fine tune the gain settings for the three axis and set up your stick priority settings. If you're interested in purchasing an AR637T receiver or any of the products that are featured in this video, be sure to check the links down in the description. Clicking on those links helps out the channel and we always appreciate it. Also, if you would like to make any kind of contribution to the channel, uh, we have a PayPal link in the description as well and we certainly appreciate that as well. All contributions from our affiliate program and our PayPal contributions go right back into the channel. So we certainly appreciate all the help from our community. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification icon so you're always made aware when new videos are released on the channel. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.